the Buffalo Bills were looking okay in their game against the Titans until halfway through the fourth quarter. If we thought there were questions about this team before, I'm not sure even where to start now, but that's okay because alumni player Jeff Nixon <laughs> picks up the ball for us, gives us his expert <laughs> analysis, and your calls are welcome this morning at 644-9840. Good morning, babe. How are you? Yeah, pretty you, good. You surviving good. after that one? Yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm not, I'm not going to invest as much emotion into these games as I do. Uh, you're taking a, a cue yeah, from me, okay? Yeah, yeah. I just kind of watch it from a distance. I got to tell you, right. we were taking my son back to college yesterday, and we were, we were heading south, and we were getting out of range of the radio station. When we last left the game, there was six and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter. It was 17-17 with the Titans threatening. So we're driving along. The signal goes out, and we're like, okay, well, the Titans will probably score, and then maybe we'll have time to come back <laughs> and score. Well, the next thing we know, we're listening to the pit game, you know, Pittsburgh, and they said it was 41-17. I didn't know you could score that many points in, in six minutes against another team. What happened? <laughs> oh, just a total meltdown. It, it, this is the second game in a row that they've been outscored almost 24 points in the fourth quarter. It's, right now, in the past two games, they've been outscored 46 to nothing in oh. the fourth quarter. And we play really good yeah. during the game. And then it seems like that third, the, the middle of the third quarter, into the fourth quarter, we start... Uh, just falling apart. I, I think the Buffalo Bills could use an extreme makeover yes, right now. Yes, they could, Jeff. Yeah, I just, <laughs> let's, let's bring in a crew uh -huh. that can do something about that. Take apart that. this team and rebuild them in 24 hours. If it were only possible, if it were only possible. Yeah. Unbelievable. And the thing is, they're no better than we were. Didn't they? Don't they have oh, they were. They, they lost their first six games. They were 0-6. They were oh. And then they brought Vince Young, a new quarterback, into the, you know, he's been around the mm -hmm. league for a couple years now. But they brought him in. They've won three games with that guy. And the, the, Good for him. Well, Good for him. He, he got upset <laughs> yeah, because, he because he was saying that, you know, these they're not on the same page. You know what? They're, it's not so much they're not on the same page. They're not even reading from the same book I right now. totally agree. I yeah. totally agree. And you know what? If I were him, that's, that's what I would be doing. Yeah. I, I can't take it. When, when you're ready to go. And well, there was an adjustment. He was, right. This was right after a play where they got penalized. T.O. was on the line of scrimmage, I think. There was some type of read, and, and Trent was probably supposed to make a, an adjustment and tell the, the tight end to get off the line of scrimmage, and T.O. was on, so it was a penalty, and then when they got on the sidelines, I think they, they got a little bit heated about it, and T.O., you know, it, uh, you know, just, I guess, you know, exploded Reacted, because yeah. he, was, uh, he was upset about it. Unbelievable, as my son would say if he were little. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a phone call. Somebody wants to sure. weigh in on this. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Hi, caller. Okay, we can't hear you. All right, we had uh, Jarris uh, did a great job again. Yeah, he got He's his eighth stand interception. Let's, let's yeah, at least talk about something that was there, good. Yeah, there are some positive things. The, you know, the offense didn't play that bad yesterday. It was just right there in the end of the fourth quarter. Uh, they made some bad decisions, I should say, Trent Edwards. But Trent's coming back from a concussion right now, and I, I'm not sure if that isn't affecting his play. I mean, you know, the offensive line is not helping him in any way. It's, the, it's like a swinging saloon door out mm -hmm. there. These guys are coming through, and when you've got a 350 pound lineman that's coming you know on your blind side you're going to be a little bit worried about that next concussion and, and I don't know if that's getting into his head you know he came into the game saying he can't worry about that stuff and you really can't as an NFL player if you're thinking about being injured you're done you're not you're not going to perform so but I, I think it subconsciously it, it comes into play and I think it's showing in his play. Uh, he's not the most mobile quarterback. One, one of the things that I'd, I'd like to see Buffalo do is look next year at bringing somebody in that can move a little bit better in the pocket. Tony Dungy had, had said that he would like to see Michael Vick come here. Yeah, now, I know what do you think of that? Now, there's a lot of, mm -hmm. I'm sure, people from PETA and animal right. rights groups that say, no, you know what, he, he paid his price. He you know, went that, to jail. That's kind of how I look at it. Jeff. He's he, not he going to be doing that. He learned his, a lesson I mean, from that. Everybody knows I'm an animal lover, but right. the man paid his, paid his debt to society. society. Absolutely. I think you have to and, let And he's it go. a very mobile quarterback. He's, he's, he's a Maybe pretty I'm good wrong. quarterback. I, I, I would like to see somebody that could, you know, create some excitement there for the Bills. Tony Dungy is a very smart coach. Uh, he's, no, he's not coaching now. I'd love to see them yeah. maybe bring him in too. I mean, if he's recommending Michael Vick, maybe they bring him in. It's a package deal, but uh, but but they've got to do obviously something. Uh, I, I, I saw some things in this game that I thought were, were good and very mm -hmm. positive. They went to the Wildcat formation mm -hmm. with Fred Jackson, and he threw that really nice touchdown in the, in the first quarter. They made it look like 
a run, and then he stepped back and threw it to Lee Evans, fell in there nice. They had some nice passes to, to T.O., but then, you know, T.O. dropped a pass that was right in his hands, went through his hands, and they intercepted and took it for a touchdown. Oh. Um, you know, so obviously they've got some, some issues there, but, and here, that, that was the interception right there that kind of broke the game open, and uh, they just can't have that. They're, you know, not only that, but the offense is having problems. They're false starting again. They lead yeah, the what, league. They what lead, is with the penalties? I, you know, it's hard to, you know, people say oh. that's a reflection of the coaching, that they're not disciplined. But as a player, you got to know the snap count. That's right. the most basic thing I mean, in here football. You, 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 you get two steps forward, three steps backward. It's like, oh, you make a great play. Oh, penalty. Back yeah, 10 years. And, like, that, oh. and that, that just hurts your, your momentum. Oh, it you, sure, sure does. And it seems like every time we start getting that momentum, they get the, the penalty and it hurts them. And uh, they've got to find ways to correct that. Does that, it just kill you when they're wearing your helmet, the throwback helmet? No, no, I love it. I just, you <laughs> I know, say, don't, people don't say, are like you that upset? Wearing that helmet. People say, are you upset that Jarris Bird broke your record? I'm, no, I want the guy to get 15 interceptions. If he can, if it'll help this team win, I don't care. Just don't wear that helmet and look bad. Don't yeah, make right, look yeah, bad. Yes, That's you, the thing. You, you <laughs> All right, we're going to try the phone again. Hello? Hello, how you doing? Good, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. A little hurt, but I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, what's your comment? Yes, I would like to know when is um, Buffalo ever going to give the right coaches in so that the Buffalo Bills can be where they should be. It seems like you have a lot of good players, a lot of talent, but when it comes down to the wire, we always step up. And I would like to know what, it, what, what are they going to do about Dick Durant? Okay, what are they going to do about Dick Durant? Well, I think if anything, signed his warrant out of town, it was this game. Well, I, I think the, the writing is on the wall. I hate I to say too. it, but, you know, Dick Duran is a nice guy, mm -hmm. and the players all say he's I'd nice. I love him as my neighbor. Nice guys finish last, and that's what's happened right. for the past exactly. three years. Now they're, they may not even be a 7-9 and nine team this year. I don't, I don't think they'll do it. I, they may only win a couple more games this year, the way they're playing right now. Uh, obviously, a lot. Of, some things are out of his control, but they're, you know, they're bad coaching decisions. Mm -hmm. I, they, they, they ran a quarterback sneak with a quarterback that just came back from a concussion. That's a play where, where you have to lead with your head. I don't think Trent had his, his. Exactly. You know, and Jeff, if you uh, notice these things, you're a pass player. I, you know, I don't think there's any excuse for for this. We've had bad calls, bad decisions right from game one. You know, yeah. so I, I don't know, and I really don't know what the what the answer is at Dick Lee's because I don't. Not sure I trust them to make the right decision after that. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. But then, and then there was another decision in the game where he didn't have confidence that his that his team would stop them. So what he did is he didn't take the penalty and put the guy out of field goal range, and and they ended up kicking the field goal and made it a, you know a ten point lead in the game. And that was that was a bad decision too. But we did have something good nationally, everybody. If you picked oh. up the Parade magazine over here, pick up the Parade magazine. In search of American food, Buffalo. Sponge candy came in number one sponge for the candy. best American food out there. Number one, sponge candy, wow. where you find it in Buffalo, New York. So we were number one well, I, in I, something yeah, that, that's, that's <laughs> nice. the weekend. Yeah, instead of leading yes. the league in false starts and a, <laughs> a positive. What are we going to do? You'll come back next week. Absolutely. We'll find out what yeah. happens with Jacksonville. They play Jacksonville. Then they this got is the better than a daytime soap going yeah. on. <laughs> yes, it is. All right, everybody, for the latest, be watching Sports Final right here on Channel 7. We want to thank Jeff for being with us. Next week, we go back to the grid iron and we'll see what they do against Jacksonville.